Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing another pick a card. This is going to be an ultimate soulmate reading, loads of details, everything you need to know about your soulmate and how you're going to meet them, how you're going to get there, all that jazz, what's going to prepare you for meeting your person. So we have group number one, group two, group three and group four. This is group number one with the pink opal, group number two with the Caribbean calcite, group three with the rough rose quartz and group number four with the mangano calcite. So if you would like any of these crystals as well, all of these are available on my shop. The link is down below. So let's get started. If you'd like extra time, please pause the video. All the timestamps will be down below and in the description box as usual. So let's get started with this reading. So start off with group number one with the pink opal tower. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have the beautiful pink opal, I love this. It's such a gorgeous crystal, very light, very light hearted crystal as well. So I do feel like you guys are coming into a really lovely light connection with yourself and also with spirit and with your soulmate or kindred spirit, however you want to call them, coming in. So we're gonna start off with the oracle card and then we're gonna move on to the tarot. So we're gonna have a look into that in just a moment. So let's have a look at your oracle cards first and let's see what we have. So what do we want to start off with? Let's go with this one first. So we have the firefly, that's a beautiful energy. And then we have the whip, oh girl, okay, okay. We have the <laughs> whip and we have the birds. And then we have the riddle fisher. And we have the fairy lovers. Oh girl, these, I love this, it's kind of, quite like an um, exotic energy. I'm hearing like an exotic kind of energy. That kind of, what they're saying is it means something that is out of your realm right now. Something that this is going to be a relationship that you have with somebody that's going to be totally out of your realm. Like something you've never experienced before. And it, it kind of means that you are experiencing the, the love of your life almost. Is that definite romantic relationship that is what you've been waiting for for a very long time or at least if you haven't been waiting for a long time it's like a soulmate past life relationship so this is somebody who you have never met before I don't feel this is somebody who's brand new and they're going to come in when something major like a tower moment happens so we have the firefly to start off with so I feel like for you guys this is an element of finding your life purpose okay so obviously if you already know your life purpose you already are kind of on a roll there I do feel like it's it's about you being seen and lightening up your life and kind of expanding your life in some way so I do feel like it could be to do with creativity because we have the number three here and we have 46 so this is obviously number 10 and number three so it's actually when you find your creativity and you'll find your purpose or purpose because essentially your purpose always changes I do feel like you're going to kind of pave the pathway for where you're going like your your part your purpose I'm seeing is like on a path right now it feels quite dark but then when you actually enable yourself to allow access to that path then your aura kind of lights up and then almost lights the way kind of like hermit mode so if you're kind of feeling like you're in hermit mode right now or you need to take some time away I feel like that's what is the best thing for you to do because obviously we do we're in a society where we feel the need to be productive all the time so if you need to take a break and you need to kind of you know go inwards for a while to figure out where your next step is definitely do that because I think you're going to have some sort of revelation with the whip I do feel like it's also essential energy obviously because my reaction was like oh girl so I feel like with that it's kind of like something sudden like a sudden realization or something suddenly kind of being like okay so like when you meet your person you'll be like oh damn okay okay I was not expecting that they are fine okay they are fine so we have the birds as well and it's funny how we have number 11 number 12 so it's kind of like they both really fit nicely together it's no kind of partition it feels kind of like I'm hearing the song partition is that a song Beyonce that's kind of a song that I just got so I'm hearing it's kind of like the because of the energies right now they are very much like masculine and feminine very separate and I do feel like when they start to kind of come more together that's when you're going to meet your person because it's almost like I'm hearing a quality is going to balance out on the planet and therefore that's when people start to come together and meet their partners so it may not be for another probably about six to seven months um maybe a year but they're saying that's stretching it a bit so six to seven months I'm going to say let's say six to eight months I feel like that's about right around October time next year is when you're going to find this person I feel obviously this is not going to be for everyone because this is a general reading so but I do feel that's kind of what I'm feeling so 
We have divination, seeking out and finding answers, which is exactly what I'm feeling with that firefly energy. It's like really finding your way, finding your purpose. And as I say, guys, if you've already found your purpose, this is literally about you expanding on that purpose and just keep doing it, keep going towards it, keep expanding it, keep growing it, you know, and keep working at it. It's not just like one thing done. It's like your lifetime, your life purpose. So part of your life purpose is definitely to be in a partnership. A lot of people who have Libra in their chart, especially quite specifically like Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Mars, you know, any of those sort of planets, this is going to really impact your life purpose. So when you meet your life purpose, you meet your soulmate or vice versa. Your life purpose is really going to ramp up your job, your career, your hobby, whatever you feel is most important to you. This is really going to be significant around your soulmate. So it's almost like your person's going to help you with it. And it's also going to help you to feel more confident that you're on the right path because possibly you are somebody who's very romantic, very loving. You want to love, you want to be in a relationship. So part of this is to find your person. And guys, the fact that we have new love, courtship, romance and falling in love on a literal soulmate kindred spirit reading is insane like that is the first card one of the first cards that have come out in group number one so that is obviously a really big synchronicity also look out for this kind of like this kind of energy like it's really intense energy that could be the sort of person you're going to meet but they're also really romantic this is like literally these two cards is like scorpionic energy it's like super romantic but also super intense and intimate you know it's that kind of really strong sharp but intense and passionate and loyal energy which is absolutely gorgeous okay so those are those cards um do we want to do let's do the tarot do you want to do the tarot next or should we do the tarot last let's do the tarot last i want to look at where you're going to be where you are right now and then where you're going to be when you meet your person so let's grab these cards okay so let's see where you're going to be where you are right now let's see where you are right now and then let's have a look at where you're going to be when you meet your person this is going to give you an idea of the sort of thing you're going to be working on and giving you an indication oh you're on the right path so you've got two cards okay perfect so i got that one and we have this one okay ending a massive cycle interesting so this is where you are right now so we have increase and escape literally this is the energy right now it's kind of like i want to escape energy is ramping up intensified 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 until something cracks so the 12th house is all about endings it's about our subconscious it's about our dreams our karma so something is going to increase until it cracks and you start to recognize what that thing is and it could be in various different things it could be in many different ways so let me just get a clarification on that let's see where this where it's hitting you what house specifically sixth house so it could be to do with work it could be to do with your uh, daily routines the way your health is it could be something to do with that it feels like a really positive move though it could even be you going to the gym you know it could be that you've never been to the gym before it could be you've never properly had an exercise regime something like that is going to really click and the sixth house rules virgo so it can be you're quite hard on yourself um, it can also be your work habits your service so you could actually change jobs as well which is going to really impact your life purpose and your career and your person okay literally the same energy so we have the eighth house endings and beginnings scorpio energy intense energy and then underneath we have virgo yep exactly really synchronistic you guys very synchronistic group this one so i feel like with the eighth house the fact that this is where you're going to be when you meet your person is showing me that you're going from the 12th to the eighth so essentially those are the they're showing me like where the 12th house is and where the 8th house is. It's kind of like you need to go through all those different stages before you get to this 8th house up here. So almost like you're allowing yourself to change and alter. You may be a fixed sign. It may be difficult for you to accept change and kind of have change come in. But I feel like when you do, this is when things start to reveal themselves. So when you allow yourself to end old cycles and begin new ones and to experience new things, different situations even just your mind may be changing the way you see yourself the way you see your life it could just be something so simple but actually it makes a freaking huge impact I'm trying not to swear <laughs> freaking huge impact on your life it's absolutely insane it's like it's like almost two lives that you're going to have it's kind of like this is your old self this is the new self okay so that is what I'm feeling which is gorgeous really beautiful energy really like allowing things and accepting things to come through which i am very happy with okay so let's get you some cards around your person we're going to pull some tarot last i think so 
let's see who your person is let's see what sort of person they are their personality their quirks things like that okay so we have the uh venus in aquarius which is gorgeous we have cancer we have sag here Okay, so with concentration, isolation, and then underneath we have organization. This person's most likely going to be a Scorpio or a Virgo. I'm really picking up on that. Somebody who gets everyone sorted. They're most likely going to be a manager or somebody who takes charge. They're, they're really, really determined. They can be quite hard on themselves. It could be both of you are releasing that kind of need to know everything, need to know when things are going to happen, you know, things like that, and just releasing that intense control. And I feel like a lot of us are releasing that. I mean, the control is really going out the window at the moment. It's really intensifying because it's going out the window. You know, like we aren't a species to be controlled, you know. So let's see what chakra you're working on. And let's see what chakra they are working on. I feel like your person is also quite bro-ish, they're saying. They've got quite a lot of Aries in their chart. Um, there's somebody, obviously this is a general reading, so it's going to resonate with everyone differently. I do feel like they're quite masculine. Obviously, if you're more into feminists, that part of the reading is not going to resonate with you. But for those of you who want a masculine energy, this person is very determined. They are very masculine. So part of their part of their lesson right now is to bring in that heart energy of the feminine and to allow themselves to love and to not control it, not put it in a box, not to put it down on paper just to feel it. You know, that's what they're really going through. And both of you guys are most likely going through an element of responsibility. It says, I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. So this is essentially about you allowing yourself to have structure. Even though structure can be very boring, you're allowing yourself to have that. <coughs> okay. So we do have an energy of somebody who's kind of dipping in and out. There's somebody who is really working on their emotions right now. They are very intense. They are somebody who can be quite black and white about things. So I would not be surprised if they're a fixed sign. They're somebody who, when you get with them, they are loyal to the bone. They are somebody who will be with you through thick and thin. I'm hearing they'll also take a bullet for you. I'm not putting that out there, but that is the sort of energy that I'm feeling. It's like cross my heart, you know, that sort of energy. It's like this person's very dramatic as well. I'm feeling myself like doing this, like lots of hand movements. So I feel like this person's very... They're quite exaggerated. Their aura is quite large as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they are a projector in, in the human design. If you guys don't know what your human design is, Google human design calculator. If you, know, if you don't know your birth time, um, you can just put 12 uh, midnight or 12 midday, whatever you feel like is most you know accurate for you. This person is most likely a projector. They're somebody who cannot force things. And for both of you working, you on your throat chakra, this person on their heart chakra, is showing me that you are working on really speaking your truth, allowing yourself to be heard. And they are working on feeling vulnerable, accepting themselves as they are. And they are somebody who likes to be quite high class. I'm doing this because it's like, not as in like, I've got lots of money. It's more about, I see myself as quite an important person. And I want people to see me as that, you know? So there's somebody who wants to be seen. They do want to be heard as well. So very similar to your energy. Obviously, switch them around if you feel the need to. I do feel like this person's very generous as well. They will literally do everything for you that, that is, you know, good for you. Like if they see you struggling, they'll be right there and right there for you. If they, if you are ill or you're sick and you just need someone to hug they'll just be straight for you they won't ignore you they will be right there with you and I feel like if somebody is literally so loyal to the core it's absolutely amazing like this person is just they have cleared out a lot of their karma so they're most likely a little bit older than you um I feel like if you guys are a teen like literally like a teenager so up to 19 this person you'll most likely meet in your early, early 20s. So like 20 to 23, I'm feeling. But for those of you who are older, this person is about six years older than you, I'm feeling. So I do feel like they are very mature. They're somebody who is really like an old soul. They've been on this planet a long time. I feel like <clears throat> in a past life, they were somebody who was very much looked up to. They were really kind of like the old wise man of the village or woman. Obviously, you can be a different gender in a past life from what I 
uh, believe personally. I do feel like this person is very, very intense. Their energy is really strong. So when you see them, I don't feel like you'll be able to keep your hands off of them. When you meet them, you'll be like, holy crap. Wow. Okay, that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like, wow. <laughs> this person is gorgeous. Okay, so let's have a look at the tarot and let's see what tarot cards you have. Okay, so we have the world. We have the emperor. That's exactly the energy that I was feeling. Really strong masculine energy. And we have the six of wands. Okay, let's get a couple more. I love this energy though. This is like really coming into a new phase of your life. So I feel like if you guys are really wanting change, this is person's going to be part of that change, which is really, really good. Absolutely obsessed with these cards. This is my first reading I'm doing with these cards. I freaking love them. They are absolutely gorgeous. If you guys are interested, they are called the Accurate AF Tarot. They're really, really beautiful. Okay, see if I can fit these in the frame. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have the King of Swords. He is beautiful. She is beautiful. I feel like you're going to be a really pretty couple as well. Like obviously, if you are both masculines, you're still going to be pretty, okay? You're still going to be pretty. Even the most masculine of masculines can be the most prettiest person. And then we have the Fool. So really starting off a new cycle. This Okay, this cycle is not going to be like holding on to anything. It's going to be completely relaxed, completely you. It's going to be like you are absolutely in your energy, okay? So... The world, the emperor, six of wands, the hierophant, the king of swords, really powerful, strong, kind of high vibrational people. So we have the emperor, the hierophant, and the king of swords, really like high profile people. So this is somebody who's most likely got a, quite a high business. They're most likely in, I'm hearing like accounting. So if you guys are in accounting or you're that type of person, I feel like they would most likely be in accounting. Not for all of you guys, but they do they're a very, very business minded person. So they could be a fire sign, a air sign. Obviously, I know I've said so many signs, but take it as it resonates. Picking up on Pisces here as well. So really going into a new cycle and it's going to feel clear that this is the right person. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm not too sure. or I don't know. It's going to be like, this is the right person because they're going to make themselves known to you. It's not going to be like, oh, do I need to kind of think about it for a while? It's like they make you feel extremely safe. And this is because you feel safe within yourself, which is a really big message I'm feeling. It's kind of like, if you're feeling unsure this is going to be the right person, this is the ultimate, I feel the ultimate kind of message that you are going to be on the right track when you meet this person. So you don't have to worry at all. I feel like that's more of the ego kind of coming in. So just don't listen to it, girl. Just don't listen to it. So I feel like one of the biggest things that's going to happen for you is you're going to have a lot of spiritual knowledge and they're going to have a lot of wisdom and passion, which is very similar. I feel like the person that you're going to meet is more on the earthy side and you're more on the airy side. So you're more of the spiritual high vibe and they're more on the earth plane. They're more kind of earthy, more structured, more stable. So they're going to kind of ground you and then you're going to kind of bring them up into the higher realms, which is beautiful. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you would like to have a look at my private readings all my information is down below and if you want to check out any of my crystals crystal shop is down in the description box i appreciate you so much i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video let's get started with your reading so we have the gorgeous caribbean calcite these are one of the smaller towers these are available at my shop if you are interested Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So we're going to have a look at the uh, tarot cards right at the end. We're going to have a look at some oracle cards first. So let's see what we have here. We have the eagle. We have the heart. Perfect. And the cloud. Ooh, so cute. So fluffy. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, we have the mother and daughter and we have cry for nature. So these are going to be the first ones. Let's have a look at these first. Okay, a lot of heart chakra energy. <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm going to cough through this part of the reading, guys, because my I feel like my heart is kind of like doing something. It's like crackling. So I feel like there's something to do with your heart chakra opening like drastically. And it may cause you to feel unnurtured or vulnerable or unsafe or scared or anything like that. So if you are feeling like that, Remember to ground yourself. Remember to know that everything is okay. Remember to stay in the present moment. Look around you. Be in the present moment. Because this is preparing you for the ultimate relationship. 
This is somebody you may know. This is for they're saying for a very small percentage of you who have clicked on this pile. I feel like a lot of you guys know who this is already. And they're saying to give letters. So I'm getting the letter B, F, D, J, K, I, O, Q. So if it, if it isn't any of those letters, I don't feel like this is the person you're going to meet if it's somebody you already know. Obviously, that's very specific. So just take it as it resonates. This is the general reading over after all. Okay, so for those of you who you don't know who this person is and you're not, obviously this, this is the ultimate person. So I don't feel like they're messing you around or they're making you feel uncomfortable or unsure. This isn't going to be that person. It's going to be somebody who you're going to meet. And it's going to be like, damn girl, this is the right person. Okay, so we have the eagle to start off with. Really beautiful energy. This person is very open, very strong Sag energy. There's somebody who very freedom loving. They love their freedom. So don't let, don't let that put you off around a relationship though. They are somebody who will very much settle down with you and be with you. They will most likely want to travel, want to do a lot of things. They're, they're very high energy. They're somebody who doesn't really sit still very much. And both of you are working on feeling safe and comfortable and cozy in your energy. I'm getting really strong Cancer Moon vibes from this group. Um, this is somebody who is going to make you feel really safe and very comfortable and like you're on the right track. They're going to really confirm that you're on the right path and... It's going to feel like, oh yeah, this makes so much sense. This is, this is why I waited for this long, you know, that sort of energy. And there's somebody who can also really, they don't really get very anxious very easily. There's somebody who's kind of very easygoing. Um, and there's somebody who likes to observe nature. They love like cloud watching and looking at the trees and they're quite flighty. I'm getting like a very strong like air energy, or quite Gemini-like, um, but obviously take it as it resonates. So you are working on self-worth. You're kind of teaching yourself to know that it's okay to be single. That is totally normal. It's beautiful to be single. It is amazing because you can really focus on your journey and there isn't kind of any distractions around needing to nurture anyone else apart from yourself. Obviously, if you're a mother, you will be nurturing like your children, etc., etc. But I do feel like you're allowing yourself to not take on responsibility of everybody else. And it may be almost mourning that old self because if you are an empath especially, your natural vibe, your natural draw is to nurture somebody else and help somebody else and really be that mothering energy for others. Whereas this time now is really allowing the feminine to be empowered and to strengthen that energy between you and the self and you and your feminine energy. Whether you're a female or a male obviously it doesn't matter. So we all have feminine energy. It's essentially if you are a masculine or you are more on the ma masculine side, I do feel like you're still working on that feminine energy, and but it may affect you in more of a different way, okay? It may affect you more in like, um, kind of may become a little bit more aggressive, so just be aware that that may be coming up because you're being vulnerable and you're allowing your heart to kind of open. So we have the Jack of Hearts, is that right? Jack of Hearts and then the King of Clubs. So this is a very interesting connection. This is somebody who you probably think, I'm never going to be with somebody like that. But actually, it could be where your heart is still opening and allowing it to open. You may discover that actually this is the right person for me. I do feel like you could be in a teaching job or in could be some sort of teacher in some way. It doesn't have to be like a full on like teacher in school or a teacher in your job. It could be that you that is just your personality or somebody who has a lot of knowledge and you love to share it with people. And that could be how you meet your person. It could be that somebody messages you asking for, say you are a teacher or like a counsellor, they could be one of your clients or it could be like a, a mother of a client, something like that, like a family member of a client or a friend of a client or something like that. It feels like you're helping somebody just without any kind of, even if it isn't for a job, it could be like helping somebody and across the street and that's how you meet them. It's kind of like whatever you're doing to help share your energy, it's going to be very, very much accepted by this person. And if it isn't directly into this, like, to this person, it will be through a connection with somebody else. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. And it feels like you are very much going through a really big shadow work energy right now. And this person is going through the same thing in a different way, I feel. Similar, but not exactly the same. But I do feel like both of you are going through a very similar energy. And this number eight is all about the eighth house. It's, it's that very intense transformations, endings and beginnings. So if you've lost something or somebody's passed away in your life or something has left your life and it is feeling quite, quite, I mean, dreadful, feels dreadful, feels empty or 
kind of closed. Just remember that, that ending is meant to happen so you can feel this new beginning. And it may feel a little bit uncomfortable to kind of be on that in that transformational threshold phase, but know that this is something that you're meant to go through so you can learn to nurture yourself and learn to work through that pain so you can really channel it. And this is something beautiful, you know, you're gonna grow from this. It's kind of like when a flower is trying to come out of the soil, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, say if it's really stormy or if it's really wintry and the flower needs sunlight to grow and maybe the clouds have been, it's been cloudy for a while, but it has, it doesn't have any kind of doubt that the sun is gonna come out and the rain is gonna come, it just, it just grows. So if you can grow through this, that's gonna help you be so much more stronger when you meet this person. This person's very open and I do feel like you're learning to be vulnerable as well. So really big messages for both of you, which is gorgeous. Okay, so let's have a look at the Oracle cards and then we're gonna have a look at the tarot. So we're gonna look at this first. This is gonna be, we're gonna have a look at your energy first and we're gonna see where you are right now and then where you're gonna be when you meet this person. So where are you right now? Okay, we have the 10th house of the world, perfect. Let's get one more for that one. So very much focusing on your career and where you stand in the world in terms of your status and your money and your finances and just really being seen. Okay, I don't think they want to give me another card. So <laughs> we'll have a look at your future energy. Let's see where you are in the future when you meet this person. I feel like you're very much learning to be on the independent side. And this is not allowing yourself obviously to be without a partner, it's actually recognizing that you can be this strong energy without a partner. You know, you don't have to be in a relationship to be loved, you know? The loving comes from yourself and allowing it, accepting it as it comes in. Wow, really strong Aries energy. So this is all about the power that you have, that masculine energy. So those of you who, as I said, working on that feminine energy, this is where you're gonna be when you meet your person. Really strong, very, very powerful. You're going to be in that really strong energy of I know who I am and I'm going to really allow myself to be powerful and allow myself to kind of draw this out of me, you know, draw that confidence out of me. Mars is all about that power, that intensity, the kind of I'm going to get this done, you know, I'm going to get this ish done. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear in this reading. So we have the 10th house of the world. So the 10th house rules your career. It's about your status. It is also about your goals, your structure, your reputation, your public image, your the masculine side of you, but also it can rule your father and men and goals and career and things like that. So the fact that this is coming through could mean various different things. It could mean that you're working on your connection with your father figure or your your father in your life. Could be a father figure, could be a father in your life. Obviously it doesn't have to be your father. It could just be that you're working on your connections with males. And obviously if you're not attracted to males, this doesn't matter. It's just that part of you that needs to be resolved. Could be if you're a masculine or a male, you're still working on that energy, I feel. So it's definitely about your being, being seen in your career and your reputation. So I feel like by the time you meet your person, you're gonna feel really, really strong. You're gonna be very open to this relationship and you're going to be in quite a strong position financially. Most likely could have moved house as well, I'm hearing, and you could have, I'm hearing packing up your suitcase. So you could have actually fully moved out of your house and moved away by yourself. Or it could mean that you've moved with another family member or a friend or something like that. I feel like you're moving away from your possible comforts, say like your, your hometown and you're moving somewhere different and then it's allowing your career to expand. You're reaching different people you are allowing yourself to be in a different position, but also be vulnerable. So when you come into that energy, you're feeling much stronger. You're feeling like you're allowing yourself to really drive the energy forward and not kind of keep it to yourself or, you know, kind of keep yourself hidden in a way. So you're really allowing the parts of you that you're scared to express to come out. So when you meet your person, you're going to be in a really good place financially. I do feel like if it's not a really good place financially, I feel like you're just enjoying work. I feel like you're just enjoying your life and it feels free, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> my guys are so funny. Like the, the messages like, that come out of my mouth sometimes is so funny. Um, oh my God, okay. So <laughs> when it, with this Mars energy, the fifth house is all about that Leo. It's fun, it's childlike, it's happiness, it's romance. So 
your love life is going to feel much more freer. You know, you're not going to have to force this. It's no forcing or pushing. This person may also love fitness and getting fit and moving their body and things like that. And it may be quite high energy, somebody who has a lot of energy. So let's have a look at your person's personality. Let's see who they are. Give us a little bit of an idea on who they are and how they're manifesting in your life. So, ooh, protection. That Aries energy is coming through strong. So they could be very much a fire sign. Sag, Aries or Leo. I am hearing Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, possibly Aquarius as well. So most likely a fixed sign as well. They could just have Aries moon. I mean, we have Pisces moon here as well. They're very gentle. They're somebody who has been waiting for you for a long time. So when you meet them, you're going to be... They're going to most likely say, I've been waiting for you, which is so cute. Oh, I love that so much. Yes, queen. Um, and there's somebody who is very driven. Okay. I'm seeing, for some of you guys, this person's already settled into their new home. So they may have moved recently. And it now when you meet your person, you're going to move into their hometown, most likely. Or they're going to move into your hometown. It's kind of like synchronistically putting you putting you both on the right path on the same path not even on the right path it's like on the same path and you both may be from different countries maybe in um, different religions maybe different kind of uh ethnicities i'm hearing um just worldly energy really big sag energy so you both most likely could be from different countries but don't have to actually be living there so say if you're both um, american it could be that you may be more uh, Arabic and they are possibly from I don't know England you know <laughs> my brain just went totally flat so it could be that you both look very very different but you have extremely strong similar values um, obviously you may both be like the same obviously like speaking the same language but you may look different that's what I'm feeling but you you may actually have like some similar things in common to say like they'll be like oh I'm 50% French and, and you'll be like oh my god I'm 50% French you know something like that you both are basically past life soulmates you, you you've known each other before that's why you're so similar and your journeys have both been extremely similar this person is very protective they love to travel they love to seek out new things they are very free loving there's somebody I'm hearing who doesn't over drink over smoke nothing like that they have learnt to express their their vulnerability and their I'm hearing sassiness in a way that's more adult you know so I do feel like they are very inventive as well they most likely have invented something um or they want to invent something they want to change the world I'm hearing this person is very worldly they could have even wanted to be like a world leader in some level they may really look up to like Buddha or Gandhi or Jesus you know they, they they love like really big figures in life in religion or just in general they really look up to people who have uh, or entities doesn't have to obviously be a human it can be something from a more alien realm it could be like a galactic energy like a starseed energy but this person is just really worldly they absolutely love to be Del like really dive into different cultures They're, they love reading as well as somebody loves reading and they love to just knowledge they just suck up knowledge they absolutely love knowledge um they they're saying i'm really jealous of Belle in beauty and the beast <laughs> even if they're a masculine or a male they're saying i'm really jealous because they love this the scene where there's lots of books and she's been given this massive library of books and they're like i want to live there i want to absolutely live there <laughs> so this person also can be quite conventional, even though they love traveling. There's somebody who's very family orientated. They'll always put their family first. Obviously, if they treat them well, not like if they're horrible, but they will treat their family really well. They want to be around family that treats them well. And they're all about that new energy of kind of the Aquarian age where nobody's really judged by how they look. It's just the soul connection that they really want. So this person is so amazing. They've got a really pretty energy, like a really pretty aura. Obviously, if they're a masculine, same thing. They're just very spiritual and just open. They don't judge. They don't really care about what you wear. They do obviously care about what you look like as long as they're going to be tr attracted to you intimately. But they, they don't really care also. It's kind of like they just want you to be yourself. Okay. So you are working on your third eye. This is all about mindfulness. And they are working on... Let's see. 
give me the card please my spirit guides are a little bit slow today they're like mm, we're gonna make you work for it girl <laughs> okay so both of you communication so most likely gonna meet through social media online or through a group setting where you both have something in common okay that's what i'm feeling for that okay so this person's working on their solar plexus inner harmony self-discipline and setting boundaries wow because they're so free loving i think this feels quite accurate especially the boundaries thing because they are somebody who kind of lets everyone in and that can actually be a disadvantage because they can be a little bit naive sometimes it's, it's a beautiful thing because they're very accepting but it can also mean that they can get thrown into the deep end sometimes and not be kind of grounded enough so that's kind of what they're working on really strongly so they're working on setting boundaries self-discipline and inner harmony and you are working on mindfulness so i'm going to read a little bit of this it says i'm aware of my thoughts and i ask myself are they uplifting and are they true i do this because i know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental emotional and physical health and because i know that my body be believes everything that i believe i choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. So you're really trusting the universe. You are not kind of having an immediate reaction. It could be that Mars energy you're working on, that energy of not getting too angry or het up by certain things. And then with the throat chakra, they're telling me to read the first bit of all these. Okay, so in a harmony, I trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly. My self-discipline and willpower will significantly help me in my efforts to move forward and grow. This person might lack in confidence sometimes. They're really working on that. Dive, dive, they're really diving into the deep parts of them as well. And then we have the throat chakra. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. Beautiful. Okay, so they're really allowing themselves to speak their truth, which is, which is really gorgeous. Beautiful energy. Okay, so lastly, let's get some tarot and let's see. I wasn't lying when this reading was going to be long, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> I hope you're liking it. Oh, I love this. I love this Empress energy. This is so Libra. I love it. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, queen. Okay, so these are really beautiful cards. So we have the Empress and we have the Ace of Cups. Oops, my camera is doing something strange. So it says centered and abundant, spiritually fulfillment. So, yeah, spirituality and fulfillment. Whoops, that fell right on the floor. Let me just grab that. We have the seven of wands. So kind of like limitless possibilities, persistence and conviction. We have the four of cups and then we're going to grab one more. So I do feel like both of you are going to be a little bit closed off when you meet this person. Okay, more than one card, but thank you very much. Eight of Wands, Alignment, Progress, Five of Wands, Frustration and Opposition. And then we also have Nine of Wands, Test of Strength and Perseverance. So you guys have been waiting for a very long time for this relationship. It has not been easy for you guys. You've been on quite a long road. For those of you, you could be... Um, for a lot of you, I think I feel like you're in your 30s or older, I'm feeling. Obviously, if that's not for some of you, then just scrap that but obviously take it as it resonates this is a general reading so we do have the four underneath so i do feel like if you stay optimistic this is going to really help you don't focus on what you don't have focus on what you can achieve and what you're going to get when you meet this person so i do feel like working on yourself and working on what you can control is going to really help this to move through this person is going to be really abundant towards you they're going to absolutely love what you do they're going to really encourage you and help you to be the best partner that they can be and they're really gonna, you're gonna help this person be the best partner they can be. It's a very balanced connection. And this is really beautiful. I feel like you may have a little bit of struggles to accept this person or to release judgment on yourself because maybe you've been let down a few times. But I do feel like it's gonna be fine, okay? It is gonna be absolutely fine. It's just really allowing yourself to to be who you are and to know that everything you're doing is is going well okay you're not doing anything just for the sake of it you are getting to where you need to go and not even in love just in general like as long as you're putting yourself first there's nothing that you can't do okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading then please uh, subscribe and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. You guys chose the gorgeous rough rose quartz. These are my absolute favorite. 
If you guys are having trouble sleeping, this guy is really, really helpful. I decided to put these on my shop because they are really good at helping you sleep. Like if you hold them when you're sleeping, I mean, they may end up in your bed somewhere different. <laughs> you may have to search for it, but it's worth it because it just basically just relaxes your body. Rough rose quartz especially because it's very, very natural. It's in the, the most natural form it can be in essentially. Um, obviously, unless it's in the ground. Um, but this is why I chose to sell this on my shop. Every crystal basically has a reason <laughs> on my shop. It's like for practical reasons as well as beautiful reasons, which I love. So we're going to have a look at the tarot in just a moment. Um, we're going to have a look at the oracle cards first and then we'll look at the tarot right at the end. So let's see what ones we have. Okay, so you guys have... Oh, I have a few little bits of rose quartz on my, on my table. Okay, so... Oh, gorgeous. We have the dragon, the fox, and the story keeper. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. Okay, I have so much to say about this group, first of all. So, we have number four, which is really strong. We have one and four here as well. Look out for number four. Amazing number, all about stability. It's the fourth house, is your home, it's your sanctuary, it's where you live, it's your body. So, I do feel like you're going to go through a massive change in stability. You're going to start to feel much more stable when you meet your person and when you kind of come into contact with long-term kind of commitments, even friendship, work partnerships, all of those, they're going to start to feel more easier when you kind of come into this energy. So with the dragon spirit, this is all about you embracing your spiritual side and allowing things to be deep and to explore. So I do feel like you are coming into just this really gorgeous energy of acceptance. I'm going to have a look into the fox as well because I feel like there's a message here that wants to come out. So just bear with me when I grab my book. Grab my book here. Okay, let's have a look and see what the fox represents. So the fox is number 14. Career and the workplace. Ambition, shrewdness and cunning. So the fact we have career and the workplace is really showing me you're most likely going to be meeting this person when you're in your career so i do feel like a lot of you guys are really into books blogs writing words speaking and just allowing yourself to share your knowledge so you guys have a lot of knowledge you're most likely a very old soul you're somebody who can struggle being on the earth plane because you are very sensitive you're very wise and a lot of people have taken that for granted this person is going to love, absolutely love your depth. They're going to love how many layers you have, how deep you are, how beautiful you are in all different ways. So the parts of you you don't like about yourself, they're going to really <clears throat> like that about you. And with this energy, it feels just really strong. It feels like you're allowing yourself to just be yourself and you're not judging yourself for who you are. And I feel like all the time you're judging yourself, remember that it's not true, you know, you are beautiful the way you are, you know, you are absolutely beautiful the way you are, and there's no reason to completely judge yourself, because at the end of the day, everyone's different, and everyone has their quirks, and it's not for anyone to tell you who you are, and what you're not, it's just who you want to be, and how you want to share your wisdom with the world, okay, so that's really important, I feel that's really part of you meeting your person, is to really just express yourself, and do things you really want to do instead of things that you have to do. You know, we do, we do need a balance of fun. You know, we need to have fun in our lives to really allow that lighthearted energy. We can't survive on this intense, you know, rawness. We have to have that lightness as well. So the more we allow ourselves to, you know, open ourselves up and share things, it can really make us feel lighter and make us feel like we can really explore. And I do feel like you're going to find a lot about yourself before you meet your person. You're going to find out you're basically going to be a very different person when you meet your person and this is all about we have the uh nine of clubs so this could be i think this is wands i'm not entirely sure but i'm going to take it as wands. so the nine of wands and that's all about exploring new depth and not you know taking things too seriously because your person is out there they're just waiting for you and you're waiting for them so it's just a matter of timing and understanding that you're not wasting your time being single. You're not wasting your time not having met this person yet. It doesn't mean that you're wasting your life. As long as you are coming into yourself, you're really allowing yourself to just be who you are. I think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, as long as you are constantly expanding and just allowing emotions to come through you and not kind of overrule you, that's totally fine. And if they do overrule you guys, just let them at the end of the day. They met Feelings are meant to be felt, but also let them move through as well. Do some, maybe some EFT where you do some like tapping or 
something like that where you allow yourself to feel but also let energies flow okay i saw a really weird bug okay there's a little fly that is always flying around in my readings i have no idea where this fly comes from i have plants in my room i don't know where <laughs> where these energies come from it's so weird um but this little fly, I'm sorry if you can see this little fly in the camera, he's kind of away from the camera right now. But if you can see him, he's a little spirit guide. He always comes out when I'm doing readings. I have no idea why guys, honestly. But I'm gonna call him Bob. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Okay, so let's get one more card about, this is who you are right now. So this is what you're working on right now. Can we get one more card, please, for who you are right now? Give me a bit more info on this Uranus energy. Okay, so really allowing yourself to speak your truth, communicating. Saturn return, you could meet your person when you have your next Saturn return. Not for all of you guys, that's for some of you. And this is who, where you're going to be. Beautiful. It's going to feel really easy. You're going to be a much more mature person when you meet your person. Not to say you're not mature now, you're very mature now. It's almost like... You've matured into your personality almost, which can be the Saturn return. It can be where you suddenly start to mature. So Saturn return can be normally around when your your early stages are 13, 21 and 28, 29. So if you're any of those ages, that's going to show you that it's going to be a really big step in your life, I'm feeling. So a lot of detail for you guys. So you guys are going through a lot right now. You're really trying to find your life purpose or you're just focusing on your life purpose, what feels good for you. This is really good energy. I like this, very expansive. So we have Uranus, Saturn return and air element. Uranus and Saturn, obviously very large planets of slow but impactful change. So, wow, I just had a massive heart chakra rush. That was intense. So I feel like you're gonna get that a lot. I feel like in the next few months, it's gonna be like, okay, why do I feel anxious? Just so you know, guys, sometimes it's not anxiety. Sometimes it's just energy passing through, okay? And if you are very sensitive, make sure to really allow that energy to flow through. Just say, I release any energy that's no longer mine now. Thank you. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Because sometimes that energy is not yours as well. So that's good. <laughs> so I feel like you're learning to ground this energy. I feel like you're learning to speak your truth. I feel like you're going to have a job or have a job that you speak a lot and you're allowing change for other people, you're helping people change. So it could be you're a speech therapist, you could be a translator, you could be learning a new language, you could be a public speaker, you could be on YouTube, on Instagram, where you're kind of allowing people to, you know, you're kind of encouraging people to have a voice. I feel you could be an air sign as well, but I do feel like this is some really intense energy. You're going to really discover some deep parts about yourself. It could be the parts of you that are masculine as well that are kind of hiding and now you're really allowing those to come through. So with Saturn and Uranus, this is just really powerful energy. It's like powerful change. It's like the way you see yourself is just so strong and it's like with the Uranus as well. It's all about that depth, parts, parts of the depth that you haven't explored yet. So I do feel like when you explore your energy and you expand on it, I feel like you, when, and also when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, that's the parts of you that people want to see. And if you're hiding those away, how can people see them? You know, so I do feel as if you are now allowing yourself to be free and be open. And it's all about that just strong energy of just allowing this newness to come in. And Uranus is all about that global awareness, freedom, expansion, technology, and things like that and Saturn right next to it is about reality practicality karma structure so Saturn I always say is the old grandpa of the planets he's the one that gets everyone sorted out but sometimes people don't like him because he is somebody who makes you do stuff you don't want to do but you have to do it for your life purpose essentially for your soul's evolution it's like nope sit down do the thing and then you can go have your chocolate bar, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like you get your treat once you do your emotional fitness, you know, <laughs> so that's what I'm feeling, it's like you are really going through quite a big change and it might not be fun, but it means that you're going to manifest the best relationship for you and it's going to allow you to communicate clearer in a relationship as well, so communication could also be really something that you really need to focus on in your relationships and that's what you're doing, this may not last a very long guys, it may be at least like four months to a year, and that's it. And I think then you'll probably be with your person or you'll know about your person. 
For some of you guys, I'm feeling those of you who are born around October time, I'm seeing four months, I'm hearing, could be quite good for you guys. So we also have the eighth house endings and beginnings with blessings. So you guys are then going to be in a really new cycle when you meet your person. It's going to be like, like massive change, clearing away the old, I'm hearing, like, I'm hearing clearing away the gutter, clearing away the, the, just the, I don't know how to explain it, just clearing away the guttering, I'm hearing, guttering, is that, is that the right, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but clearing the gutters, that's what I'm hearing, it's like clearing away the debris, that sort of thing, that's what I'm feeling, so that's amazing, right, let's have a look at your last oracle card, and then we'll have a look at your tarot, 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 getting the number five really strongly for you guys, so you're going for a lot of change, a lot of spiritual change and a lot of awareness and it's not always fun but it's very very necessary and it means that when you come into a relationship it's not going to break away straight away it's going to stay and it's going to be there for a long term for the most likely the rest of your life for a lot of you guys okay so you're going to have a very intuitive very awoke relationship very awake relationship very awakened you both of you have gone through like a really drastic spiritual awakening or several spiritual awakenings. This person could be a water or fire sign I'm picking up or maybe an Aquarius as well. There's somebody who is very independent, but they also really love relationships. There's somebody who, because they're so independent, they are helping you on a spiritual level right now to learn independence and understand that that's powerful, that's really powerful. And this is interdependence as well, guys. So obviously when you're independent, this isn't about you not being able to have a relationship, it's about you knowing your value, know your worth, and then being able to let that person understand you and your boundaries, you know, you don't wanna, if you don't know yourself, how can you tell people what your boundaries are? So you also have adaptability, you're learning to adapt to situations and to make the most out of every single situation. This is Moon in Gemini, so really adapting to every situation that you're in and knowing that that's okay, this is divine timing. And even though it's, it's boring, <laughs> it means it's gonna come to you pretty quickly if you just allow it to flow and accept it. And it might not be boring, it might be really fun. You might kind of find some new things out about yourself that you don't even know you were or had before. So as I say, very intuitive relationship. Both of you have endured a lot in your life and you've gone through a lot of transformation. This is a sun in Scorpio. So you guys have gone through so much transformation. And we did have that before, that transformative energy of the eighth house. I'm gonna show it to you guys again, which is this. So it's actually a blessing in disguise, essentially. It's actually gonna get you to where you need to go. Okay, and you're gonna most likely meet them in a place you've never been before or this is going to take you to a, to a place you've never been before, emotionally, spiritually, intimately, all that kind of stuff. And I feel like the universe is basically telling you not to cage yourself in and to think, okay, this is the one person I'm going to meet forever and ever. It's like, you may decide that when you meet your person, you might not actually be interested in them at first, and then you kind of warm up to them. You, you just never know. Um, I have heard recently from, I can't remember her name right now, but she is a spiritual lady and she's amazing. And she, oh, Jennifer Hoffman, she said about kindred spirits and how your kindred spirit is somebody who you don't have to have any karma with. They're somebody who you're meant to be with. And this is also somebody you may not even like at first because if you are immediately drawn to them, obviously this is different for everyone, but most of the time it's because it's her karmic connection and you need something from that person. But if it's somebody who you meet and you are like, eh, I'm not too bothered, that could actually be your soulmate, your kindred spirit, you know? <laughs> so the main energy you're both working on is the energy of selflessness. I'm kind to all, I'm aware that everything I do or say affects others. I will help those who seek it and I will seek out ways to be of service. Everything I do, I do from a spiritual perspective and I put my heart into it. So allowing just that freedom to come through, okay? So we have, you're working on solar plexus, self-discipline. My self-discipline and willpower will significantly help me in my efforts to move forward and grow. I'm strong and capable. My actions speak louder than my words. That's essentially that independence energy. And they are working on imagination. Sixth chakra. So that's all about your third eye connecting to the spirit. So this, your person is more physical and they like 
things they can touch and physically handle. So they're working on things that they can't physically see, like their spirituality, their independence, their you know imagination, all those things you can't actually grab, you know? So that's what they're working on. And you're working on things that you can, essentially you're working on the physical, they're working more on the spiritual, okay? So you're working on your confidence and they're working on connecting to source. So it says, I use my imagination as I create and pursue my dreams and wishes. I ask myself, what do I want? So there's somebody who is very, very unique. They're very spiritual. They are very creative as well. So they have a lot of creative ideas and they may be so creative that they don't know what to do with themselves sometimes. So that may be something they're really working on. Okay. Right. So let's get the tarot now. Let's see what wants to come out in the tarot. Okay. Main energy we have. We have the Spirit of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Wands. So we have opportunity, creativity, authentic, virtuous, independence and achievements. Okay, so this is really beautiful. So this is all about coming into an energy that is most highly unknown to you. It's quite scary because it's something that you've never had to kind of do before. But I do feel... The fact we have the two of rings is beautiful. This reminds me of marriage. This reminds me of just absolute divine connection. So I do feel as if you may get married quite early on into the relationship because you just know. And it's not about I need you. It's about I want you. You know, it's just a choice. So I do feel like this person is going to help you in your career. I think there's somebody who could be from abroad or they could just have quite a extent knowledge on world on the world and countries they could have traveled a lot you're a very authentic person or you're learning to be more in your authenticity and kind of express your creativity and the more creative you are the more you express who you are in any way that feels good for you you're going to have a lot of more opportunities to kind of grasp especially in your career and both of you are going to most likely collaborate on some sort of project in some way it could be that you meet them through your career or Something to do with your life purpose. So basically if you're doing like a uni course, like a university course or a college course that you really enjoy or you want to kind of expand on it and do it as a career, you could meet them through that. It could be that you meet them just through your work. It could be a group that you kind of join, something like that. You both have um, a similar opinion on something and that could bring you together as well. So ultimate kind of, I'm hearing convenience. It's very convenient the way you meet. It's not pushed or forced. It's just like, oh, cool <laughs> you know it's like it doesn't mean it's going to be anticlimactic but it's very natural it's kind of like sometimes people think it's going to be like intense and erotic and amazing which it is but it's also going to be very natural and sometimes some of you guys are going to be like oh okay but it doesn't mean you're not going to have any intimate attraction to them it just means that you didn't expect it to come in that form okay so very much of a surprise and I do feel like you could meet this person at a party, a surprise sort of situation, or it could be that you're at a wedding or a celebration and they could be there as well. They could be like um, related to a family member or something like that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I also do feel like you're going to build something with this person. So it could be that they could be somebody you're collaborating with on a project or something. And that's how you meet them, that you have both a common goal. Um, it could also be that you meet them through a friend or a common connection so obviously just take it as it resonates there's lots of messages here so but I do feel I'm hearing you building a tower like building um a you're building something together I feel like some of you guys could be architects or something to do with buildings or interior design something like that but I'm seeing these two as like buildings which is gorgeous so thank you so much guys I really hope you enjoyed this reading and if you would like a private reading all the information is down below along with my crystal shop Thank you so much and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the cute little mangano calcite. I love this crystal. It's so pretty. So let's see what we have. So I'm going to start off with the oracle card and then I'm going to go into the tarot. So let's start off with the oracle cards here. Okay. Oh, I love her. She's beautiful. We have the lion, we have the grail fairy, and then we have the bear. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Okay, so the bear. Let me have a look and see what this represents. So this is number 15. This represents power, intimidation, figures of authority, and strength. So 
The main thing I am feeling for you guys is you're going through a lot of strength right now. I mean, the lion and the bear are very, very big kind of animals who are on top of the food chain, you know, so they're sort of the animals that a lot of animals are scared of them. So you may be going through a really big transformation that is kind of, it may be making you feel like you're not really getting anywhere because you're going through a really big cycle. So I do feel like you're learning to really emba embrace your feminine side. And this is all about the fertility. It's about how you expand on your energy. So obviously if you are a male, same thing. We all have feminine and masculine energy. So this is all about how are you going to expand what is in front of you and how you're going to handle it. So say if you're going through some intense depression or sadness or just loss, how are you going to handle it? Are you going to kind of have a little bit of a hermit mode or do you need to kind of get that energy out through exercise or kind of speaking to a friend or journaling, anything like that? So I do feel like the fact we have the return of life, health and life cycles, you are really working on your health, you're working on your physical body and this is all about how yeah, how are you asserting yourself within these situations? And you guys are really coming around, coming around into this energy. So <clears throat> we do have the 10 of spades, which I think is about the 10 of swords, I'm pretty sure. Obviously it doesn't, doesn't have to be, I'm not entirely sure how it kind of represents, but what I'm feeling is, it's like you've been through so much and the line is all about that strength energy. It's how you are kind of coming across and leading others and leading yourself. So this does feel like you're putting a lot of responsibility on yourself as well. You may be quite critical and getting a lot of Virgo energy from this. So I feel like you may be quite critical on yourself and how you want to kind of move forward. And you may think, well, I'm not there yet, so it's never going to happen, which is definitely not true. This is definitely a bump in the road or a little bit of a curveball, but it doesn't mean that it's not meant to be there. This is kind of allowing you to get to where you need to go, you know, and just because something pushes you down, it doesn't mean you have to stay there, you know, so... I do feel like this is a really big cycle you're going through and I love how she's kind of like trickling the water into the cup. It's kind of like she's allowing herself to give to herself. So right now this is a time of you, this is a time of renewal, this is a time of coming back to yourself and what feels good to fulfill your cup and to allow yourself to lead. You know, you are somebody who, you know, we all have our own purpose, we all have our own choices, we can all make a, a conscious choice, it just depends on if we want to and how we want to, you know, we all have a body, we all have organs and, and blood and skin, so it's like, how do you want to use all those things to your benefit, do you want to go for a run, do you want to go for a walk, do you want to sit and chill, you know, it's just allowing yourself and not pushing or forcing against it, if you are tired, have a break, you know, if you of have been working too much, allow yourself to rest at the end of the day instead of going straight onto your phone or, you know, doing that sort of thing. Like what feels good for you at this moment? Just because your body is feeling it, it doesn't mean that you have to push it away. You know, if you if your body's feeling something, listen to it because this is your compass to where you're meant to be. And this is all leading up to your relationship. This is all leading you to your being independent and interdependent as well. But also allowing yourself to just speak your truth and other people are starting to listen to you and hear you as well. And I feel like it's really coming full circle for you now. Okay. Alrighty. So let's have a look at the astrology cards. We're going to see where you are right now. And then where you're going to be when you meet your person. This is going to give us a bit of an idea on how you're going to meet your person and things like that. So let's see. Whoops. beautiful we have mercury retrograde one of the retrogrades most people aren't very fond of which i feel like is the energy you're in right now you're like oh <laughs> but actually this is about reinvention this is about doing things differently this is about seeing things differently and if you want change you've got to be the change you know like that song that michael jackson did i'm pretty sure it's uh black black or white i'm pretty sure it's that one or man in the mirror i think it's man in the mirror it's kind of like the change starts within us. It changes, the change starts with ourselves. So look at that, that massive, massive change. And Jupiter is one of those planets that not many people like as well because it is about expansion, but it is about things really kind of being, what's the word? Can you give me the word, please? Like sudden change, but you're not sure on what it is. So this is all about you. You want to reinvent yourself. Right now you're reinventing yourself and it's actually bringing you to abundance because you are choosing yourself 
more opportunities are coming to you. Okay, so let's see where you are with your person. 12th house escape. So your person could be a Pisces. It also could be you're the Pisces. But you're now learning to do more things differently in terms of your love life and your spirituality. So getting really hot. Ooh. That 12th house is all about spirituality, karma, past life patterns, renewal, regeneration. So because we have it in love, your love life is going to have a brand new cycle. You just have to get through this kind of threshold right now, the kind of the thunderstorms, you know. And then after the thunderstorm, thunderstorms are loud, they are beautiful, they're rejuvenating, they can be quite destructive. But after it, it's like the calmness comes in and you then you start to rebuild. That is what is happening with you. You are learning to reinvent yourself and discover who you are by listening to your body and listening to your thoughts. And because of that, it's bringing in love to you. I'm really getting the number 12. We do have the 12th house, so that is really strong. And seven is all about that spiritual energy. Seven is the energy of spirituality. And we also have partners, this seventh house, which is all about your love life. So your love life is changing and you may not be seeing it right now because this is about you. And this is in turn is then embracing and allowing somebody new to come in. But right now you're going for a really big transformation for yourself, by yourself. So if you feel like nothing is happening or you feel like, why is everything against me? Or why do I feel so confused? This is all about the reinvention of yourself and how you are allowing this change to come in. Do not fight it. If you are fighting it, allow yourself to take a deep breath and just move away from the fighting energy or if somebody is not agreeing with your energy move away from them because you need to expand and if you're if you can't expand around constriction essentially also if you're in a, any toxic environment or relationship it can be harder to expand I mean it's not impossible obviously but if you are caging yourself it's essentially when you're in a toxic relationship or relationship doesn't doesn't suit you it's almost like putting yourself in a cage so it's kind of like with uh, animals you can put all their comforts in the cage, you can give them water, food, entertainment, you can give them another animal or three animals or five animals, but it's not going to resolve the fact that they're still in a cage, you know, they are still ultimately restricted. So if you can release this restriction, which is all about Jupiter, Jupiter is about expansion, it's about major change, this is what is happening for you guys. So maybe in the last Mercury retrograde or the next Mercury retrograde, you may feel something shift and like almost tweak. It may be also for you guys, just be aware of your joints and be careful of your joints. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something twinging. So if you are a runner, a dancer, fitness instructor, pole dancer, you know, like pole fitness, anything like that where you're using a lot of your muscles, be very aware that something may like twinge a little bit. So just be careful to really nurture and to really look after yourself so like massage your your joints and give yourself a nice soothing bath and just allow yourself to rest and have days of rest you don't have to constantly keep going to feel like you're achieving something when you have a break you can actually achieve much more okay it can actually be so much more productive than you know not taking a break and your body needs to break you know we are a biosystem we literally are a organism you know so if we're not looking after ourselves where is that stress going you know it's going to go straight to our body so I do feel like a lot of health is very important to you I feel like your health and it's not even about your I'm hearing your biorhythms and you and you can actually get a biorhythm calculator you can actually see where you're feeling so you get like a chart and if you know your birth time if you don't know your birth time you can literally just put in midday or midnight with your birthday and it shows you where you're at. It gives you like a graph. And basically, if you are feeling quite fatigued or tired, it could be that your biorhythm is low. But then it, go, it goes up. It goes like a wave like this. So you may be like having quite like a slow day. And it could be the energies, but it could also be how you're just, how just you're feeling, you know. So health is not just about the saying. It's not just about the physical. It is about the physical, but it's also about how you're cleansing yourself. Like it's about how much you're giving to yourself and how much you are detoxifying because at the end of the day, we need to detoxify at some point, whether that be, you know, going to the toilet, you know, that is a natural thing for us human beings. Um, that along with detoxifying our skin, you know, with healthy foods, with water, with vitamins, all that type of jazz, as long as you're looking after yourself, it's going to make things feel so much easier, especially in the, I'm hearing ambushing energy, it's going to feel a lot more easier. Okay, so your person, 
most likely going to be quite high of status um, in terms of maybe their social life. They might have quite a few friends. There's somebody who loves to be around people. They love relationships. They love being in a relationship, but they're very gentle and, and quite feminine, actually. Not like in a, like a womanly kind of female way, but they are very, very nurturing. They're somebody who will give to you, who will allow um, themselves to be vulnerable around you. And they are a nurturer. They are a caretaker. They could actually be a nurse or a doctor. They could also be, some, yeah, yeah, status. They're showing me, showing me the status of their doctor. So like um, DR for doctor, or they could have like a PhD or something like that where they have, that's their status uh, um, basically in, in this kind of like physical human world. So they're somebody who is quite good at adapting. They're very optimistic. They're somebody who is quite eccentric as well. They, I'm seeing like somebody like a biker man, like somebody who has like a biker outfit, they, they like things quite um, intense, possibly a little bit gothic. Uh, they could be somebody who likes dressing up. Um, they might be somebody who likes cosplay, that sort of thing. They could also be somebody who likes to change up their look frequently. They could have two different hair colors. They could have two different eye colors. Very Gemini energy. Do we have any Gemini here? Yeah, we do. Yeah, a moon in Gemini. Yeah, really feeling that energy. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like this person is very intelligent they have a lot of knowledge they're somebody who has been through many lives they've been a man they've been a woman they've been an animal in their past lives and they have done it all you know and i feel like they i'm hearing they were their most wisest when they were an elderly person in a village so i'm seeing they could have been an elderly woman so if you're wanting a man i feel like the gender can change in past lives that's just my um take on it I do feel like they were this old elderly person and they were giving wisdom to the children of the village. And I feel like this is them. They love to give wisdom. They are so intelligent. They have so much knowledge to share. They do not shut up. <laughs> Basically, they will talk and talk and talk, but it's all good stuff. You know, it's not like stuff that you're like, ugh. you find it very endearing. You find it really, really sweet. And when they're passionate, they are so passionate and yeah, Cosplay is really important to them in some level. So they might not be that they actually like to dress up. They might just admire people who like to do that. They may even like body paint, things like that. Cause people do that as like an artistic vision. I don't see it being something like, you know, intimately, but it could be, you know, they're, they're up for trying pretty much anything I feel. This person's very just open. They're up, they're really up for anything. So you are working on your heart chakra and your base being self-sufficient and accepting yourself, okay? And then they are working on, obviously flip the roles if you feel the need to, or you're both working on your heart chakra, that's interesting, and the throat. They're working on radiating warmth and sincerity and creative expression, which is essentially what I was talking about with the whole cosplay situation, where if it's not just like cosplay, I do feel like it's about really embracing all sides of them they're quite there's somebody who can't stay to one thing they are they do have staying power like in the relationship they'll be extremely loyal but they will like to mix it up a bit they do get bored quite easily but it's not about you it's about them it's like their intensity if you, they will never get bored of you but they will constantly want to do new things okay and they'll want to like go out and have fun and they're very optimistic they've got a lot of air in their chart so we have the third eye acknowledge of spirit so it says, I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. Beautiful. So I'm going to read the first little sentence of each of these. So base chakra, it says, by finding material security without being materialistic, I will gain satisfaction, stability and inner strength, which is so beautiful. I want to read a couple more as well of these. So I take responsibility for where I now find myself in life as I move forward. I get in touch with and trust my innate wisdom, which tells me that I will be provided with all I need. The heart chakra says, it's time to rejuvenate myself by giving myself love. I accept myself the way I am and I remind myself that I cannot feel any better about life than how I feel about myself. I will not wait a moment longer to accept myself. I accept my life as it is now and I move forwards from here. Theirs is, I'm open to sharing, accepting, communicating and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. So they may ha have a kind of situation where they struggle to be in the present moment. So they are really dealing with that because they can't be free and open hearted if they're not in this moment right now. You know, they kind of, they may have a little bit of tendency to overdo it in terms of like burning themselves out with work or 
overthinking, um, overspending, that sort of thing, but they're working on that right now. Um, I don't feel like you'll meet this person when they're working through it. I think you'll meet them after they've kind of gone through it and resolved it. They could be somebody who is a Taurus as well. They really love like material possessions. They love, they love uh, natural environments. They love, I'm hearing special things, things that make them feel special. They love that. Um, they love like nature and flowers and things like that. They'll always have plants around them. They love their plants. <laughs> um, so it says, I'm committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. They're learning to speak their truth and they learn to speak their mind so they won't hold it in because they've their kind of tendency is to hold back. When they feel something, they'll hold it back because they don't feel safe. Maybe that's something that they had in their childhood. So they're really learning to speak their truth which is amazing okay so last cards we have is the tarot so the main energy we have is queen of swords and the spirit of wands which is enthusiastic and adventurous and then we also have reliant and perceptive this is very very air sign energy really beautiful Con communication is like the most important thing for this person they actually struggle with communication so it is interesting with all the the elements of the star signs is like Air elements normally struggle with communication or over communicating. Water signs could be over emotional or not emotional enough. You know, it's like, it's really interesting. And it's kind of like how you deal with that certain element. You know, it's kind of like they're known for that, but they can also struggle with it. You know, so this person's really learning to deal with that. Obviously this is just general. That's like general of the zodiac signs. I mean, I'm a water sign. So I know, I know girl, I know how it feels. <laughs> So speaking of water signs, we have the chariot, which is Cancerium, direction and willpower. So as long as you keep affirming that you are beautiful and you are gorgeous and balance is so important to you guys. You might have Libra in your chart. We have Cancer and we have Libra, very, very watery, very watery. So this person is really learned to just flow with things, just flow with that energy and just be in it and just love it. And wow, we have the tower. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Oh, I love this. They're all, tar they're all um, tarot cards. They're so cute. I recently just got this deck, so I'm like amazed by it. It's so pretty. And then we have the star. There we go, guys. Like it's going to happen in divine timing. You just got to trust. And then we have the ace of cups. <laughs> That's so beautiful. I love that so much. So if we move this along, it's essentially like in this direction, like this. So we have chariot, temperance, the tower, the star, and the ace of cups. Like we have literally four major arcana the tower the tower the chariot temperance and the star it's like wow this person is so amazing that there, there's somebody you've never met before as well and there's somebody also who will just nurture you really nicely and really go well with you and just be that nurturing energy you've always needed and wanted in your life and you could be the mother of their child as well or the father and then we have the ace of swords literally air sign energy communication breakthrough mental focus so you guys are learning to have ideas and really bring ideas into this as well i feel the need to sing and like really sing and sing 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 so i feel like this person really loves singing which is all about speech and that air energy throat chakra energy so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store all the information is down below i have these available if you want to check them out and if you want to, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here and supporting. And I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.